Game started. Oh, here's a game. Gully, gully, gully. So let's uh, try D4 here, and then let's put this. There we go. Should be on screen. Um, D4, C5. So Benoni with a um, early queen C7. That's pretty interesting. And so he's not um, developing the knight. It's just moving his pawns. OK, well, still developing the knight here is a good idea. There may be an opportunity to push this pawn all the way to uh, d6 if white is not careful. Let's see, if he plays um, b5 now, I take, he takes, I take with the knight. And then he can take here, give me an isolated pawn. I think it's not yet a problem, so we'll just keep going like this. I mean, I could have played um, a4 there to stop b5. But I don't think it's necessary. Maybe after he plays bishop to uh, d7, I'll do that. OK, so now he's got a normal kind of Benoni structure. I guess he will be trading there. And I'm never quite sure whether this bishop goes on d3 or e2. Oh, he closes it. So uh, this is a check Benoni. And I'm going to try and play for the um, f4 break here. You can break at f4 or c4. And of course, uh, black can break at uh, b5 and f5. So I need to be able to retreat that knight. Knight to d2, pawn to f4 is the plan. So maybe I wasted a move, but he wasted a move too by playing e6 and then um, e5. So I think no harm is done here. And this uh, overprotects the um, overprotects the e pawn nicely. So I think I'm going to get in f4. Yeah, let's go ahead and play it immediately. Um, it might have been nice to move this knight out of the way, but I want to strike here while I have a chance. So I have to uh, take with the rook. I guess I don't want to. Give him a chance to play g5 and secure that pawn. OK, so now he gets his play on the diagonal. Um, I, I could immediately pressurize that knight with the uh, queen here. But he can move the knight, and this pawn is defended. So where does the knight go to? Let's think about this. So queen f3, knight, uh, probably knight h hitting my rook, and my rook doesn't really have a great square. So I'm going to drop the rook back. Well, let's see, is there an idea of playing, um, is there an idea of playing D or uh, E5 already? <laughs> that is kind of interesting looking. E5, pawn takes, queen takes, oh, his queen is defending. Okay, so it's not yet an idea. So I need to, um, Get my knight back to f3 and my bishop to f4, probably. That's what I'm thinking. OK, so that's attacked twice and defended three times. So I can still move my knight. And he's going to try and get another attack going on that pawn or this pawn. Like so here, <clears throat> knight b6 attacks the uh, c pawn. I can play b3. Um, to attack the um, d pawn, he needs to play knight to f6. And he's already got a knight there. So probably he's just planning to castle um, queen side. So if I play bishop f4, that's my plan. Um, it's, it's looking pretty good. I do have to keep in mind that um, if I play b3, this knight is going to be loose. So bishop f4, knight b6, b3. He can actually take here 
exploiting the, uh, the pin on this guy. Oh, but the queen is defending the uh, c pawn, so I don't have to play b3. So I'm going to play bishop f4. And if he goes for uh, knight b6, I'm going to play rook to uh, c1. Just defending my knight and getting the, uh, getting the rook off that diagonal and preparing to play b3 at the right moment. Of course, if he castles queenside, Hmm. <clears throat> I'll have to think about how I want to do these pawns. Okay, but he's not castling queenside. So he's um, not yet attacking this. It's defended. So rook c1 is what I'm thinking. The knight can go to... The knight can go to... Either knight could go to g4 and have to drop the rook back. So and it comes in here. That's okay. I mean, that's covered. Um, right there, knight here. If I take, he takes with the pawn. It's also actually kind of interesting. Knight takes, pawn takes, gives me this passed pawn here. Drop the bishop back, and then, um, you know, it shuts in his bishop. And I can drop my bishop back and keep pressure on this pawn. Okay, so maybe he'll stop and think a little bit. Gully golly, he hasn't been playing too badly, though. I don't think. I haven't seen any big mistakes. So I do want to get this rook off the diagonal, but maybe instead of c1, it goes to f1. He hasn't committed to kingside castling. Okay, so he's just going after the bishop. Yeah, and there's no good way to avoid the trade. You can... Um, Defend the bishop so I don't um, mess up my pawns, <clears throat> my pawn structure on the king side here. Okay, so let's bring this rook over to the f-file. And uh, this diagonal is closed because this pawn, but he can try and open it up with um, f, f5 take. Um, I'm wondering about the idea of pawn to um, d6, queen takes, and knight d5. I mean, it gives me a great square for that knight. So maybe it's something. So what happens on f5? He pushes, I take, he takes, I take with the rook. So I think I, I win that pawn, but then this pawn is free to go. So I have to be careful. Still have to watch out for things happening on this diagonal. <clears throat> maybe since he didn't bother to take my um, bishop, maybe I'll drop my bishop back to uh, d1 and route it around to, um, or back to e1 to d2, something like that. And, okay, so he decided to take there. And here we are. So it's a knight versus a bishop. I have a protected passed pawn, and he has an extra pawn on the king side. And I have pressure on the f-file. Let's see, instead of moving his king, he could have maybe pushed the pawn right there. Yeah, definitely could have. Okay. So maybe I want to... Um, Go back to the f-file pressure. Um, so another idea here. Queen to um, d2, pawn to d6, queen to d5. And I'll have three pieces looking at the uh, f7 square. 
And we'll also be looking at these two pawns, although they're, they're defended at the moment. But where will my knight go? Knight could go here to here, in some cases. I could go here to here, back to um, back to d1 and up to e3. Try and come out on the king side. So knight d1, e3, g4, f6. Might be a, <laughs> a long-winded but interesting route for the knight. And what is uh, what is black going to do here? Well, <clears throat> I should be a little careful about this d6 move, not play it until I get something substantial because uh, it really is just sacking a pawn in most cases. Even if the queen goes to uh, d2, pawn d6, moves the queen in front of the pawn, I bring my queen up here. He can bring a rook over and he's got two pieces on it. But I am hitting... I am hitting the... Um, F pawn. Hmm. Okay, so in this case, where is the weak spot here? In this case, sacking the pawn and playing knight d5 to get pressure on f6. There's still three pieces attacking it, though, and I've, I would only bring three. I mean, here he still has three defenders, and I only have three pieces attacking. So maybe I should um, push my pawns forward. Let's start with um, this one. So if I get h4, g5, he takes, and I trade rooks, and bring my queen to the f-file, I mean, we could get into an endgame of knight versus bishop. But I, actually, I guess he just wins a pawn, so I'd have to reposition my queen first. Well, once again, queen, queen d2 looks interesting then to support h4, g5. Mm, his queen is on it too. Anyway, so he decides to just go like that. So I could um, defend the pawn. I could pin it. That looks kind of interesting. Rook h3, threatening to take it and win the pawn on... Um, threatening just to win that pawn. If he pushes, I take with check. Okay, so he unpins the pawn by moving the bishop there. He's got um, a check here I have to be a little careful of. I've got it covered at the moment. But it looks like I'm picking up a pawn. He could push um, the g-pawn forward and just try and close things up. So he's a pawn down, but um, but this extra pawn I have is maybe something. It's It's doubled. <clears throat> and maybe it, it can become weak. So if he plays uh, g5, I'll probably just go back to um, f3 here, gang up on this pawn again. Yeah, start start looking for maneuvers with the knight. Yeah, he did play that. So um, yeah, so maybe he can just round that pawn up. So where would the knight like to go? Maybe to um, f. <clears throat> Knight to um, f5 there looks interesting. It helps support the pawn coming forward. It also forks the queen and the, the bishop, although I don't know if I want to trade the good knight for the bad bishop. But um, 
So he's going to try and push that pawn forward. So knight d3, he pushes, knight e3 rather, he pushes, I go rook g3, threatening to take. He takes with the bishop, I guess. I take with the queen. And um, yeah, then he could attack this pawn. Uh, he might be just getting a pawn back. Maybe this will turn into a whole lot of nothing. Let's see. Um, it's a tempo move. I could get my knight to f5 first. He pushes. I play knight f5. He takes the rook with check. No, I can't do that. <laughs> and then moves his queen. <laughs> so, so if he pushes the pawn, I have to, uh, I have to play rook g3. And then he can take my knight. Ah, so he doesn't go for that. Okay, so I'm going to put the knight on f5. That's where the knight should be. Yeah, the knight also supports the, uh, the d-pawn coming forward. Okay, so the queen is indirectly looking at this loose rook here. So maybe rook g3 right away. Stop that pawn from coming forward. And um, think about things a bit here. What's the next step here? I could play, um, I could double on the g file and play h. Okay, let's just defend on the queen side. I could double on the G file and play H4 to try and open this up further. So king to H1, rook to G1, pawn to H4, he takes. The rooks trade out. If my queen were on F2, then, uh, then I'd be able to grab the H pawn back after trading rooks. And uh, that might be good. You would have this kind of backwards pawn here. I would still have this passed pawn here. Another one over here. Okay. But he's opening things up on the queen side and pushing that pawn forward. Um, <clears throat> so, is this a plan? Is there a simpler plan? Like um, doubling on the G file or if file and taking the bishop and then taking taking here let's um i'm going to double on the f file and um let's see i'm going to stop that from coming forward any further so i'm going to double on the f file my uh, my queen is guarding this guy so my plan is knight takes bishop king takes rook here check rook takes rook here check and the king has to go back because my queen is defending that pawn so i think i've I'm, I'm helped at this point by the fact that he's low on time check so i think he has played a good game so far i have to say check but uh, he's created a lot of weaknesses here, so I should be able to find something. Queen can come all the way to the back rank, but um, I've got um, king here. Oh, he's got the... Uh, the uh, he can take the um, this pawn. Just have to block this way. Yep. Okay, but now I think he's in trouble. Check. It's 
close. So queen here, check. <laughs> King takes. It's the only move. Rook here, check. King goes here. Pawn forward, check. King comes forward again. Where is the mate, as, uh, as Chess Explained likes to say? Okay, how many pawns have we got? One, two, three, four. It's, it's uh, five. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Check. Got to do something here. So do I want to check? Oh, I have to check with the rook here. Check. Check. There's the mate. Ah, oh, now I see it. The king comes forward and the queen goes to f2. Check mate. Well, a nice finish to an interesting game. I'm going to upload this and uh, see you guys later. Bye.